And good morning, everyone, and welcome to This Day. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, March 27th, and it's also, also National Manatee Day. Manatee. Don't you just love those little manatees? Manatees. Well, they're not really little. They're not very little. <laughs> but they're no. so darn cute, so I'll tell you about those in just a bit. All right, and I'll tell you uh, about our show today. Uh, we have a couple guests on from uh, Toyota of Irvine. We have uh, Ephraim Barcelo and Steve Smith. They were both here last week. Good to have them back again and uh, from the Thrive Project Maggie Blackwell is here also from the Florence Sylvester Senior Center we have both the ladies of the Senior Center today uh, Shirley and Cheryl will be coming by and then from the Reform Temple of Laguna Woods we have uh, Carol Bowler and she's going to talk about several different events that are going to be coming up and then our meetings today we have a Thrive Task Force meeting which will be in the Sycamore Room from 9.30 to 12, and then we have a third board special meeting, which will be strategic planning, and that'll be in the Willow Room at 9.30. All right, so having a lifespan of 60 years, manatees are calm herbivores with no known natural enemies that spend most of their time eating, sleeping, and traveling. Sounds like a great life to me. Manatees weigh 400 to 500 kilograms. That's about 880 to 1,200 pounds, an average uh, 2.8 to 3.0 meters, 9.2, 9.8 feet long, sometimes growing to over 15 feet. The females tend to be larger and heavier, and at birth, baby manatees weigh about 66 pounds each. Look at how adorable. Uh, the manatees have a large, flexible, prehensile upper lip that is used to gather food and eat for social interaction and communication. And as manatees like slow rivers, canals, saltwater bays, estuaries and coastal areas as a migratory species. They inhabit the Florida waters during the winter and move as far north as Virginia and as far west as Texas, sometimes in the summer months. Now, the most sig significant challenge for manatees today is the loss of habitat. Currently, there are approximately 3,200 manatees living in the United States. And it is illegal under Florida state law to injure or harm a manatee. They are classified as endangered by both the state and the federal governments. The MV Freedom Star and the MV Liberty Star are two ships used by NASA to tow space shuttle rocket solid boosters back to Kennedy Space Center and are propelled only by water jets to protect the endangered manatee population that inhabits the regions of the Banana River where the ships are based. So there you have it. Happy Manatee Appreciation Day. Ken, how's that weather? Yeah, and um, I remember many years ago as a kid, uh, if I'm sure a lot of you remember the Jacques Cousteau specials that would come on through a National Geographic, not the channel, because that didn't exist back then, but through the magazine. And he did a whole thing on manatees and um, he nicknamed then the Mermaids of the Sea. So. I think that that goes back to like the early 1970s that that was on. Really, that was neat. All right, here is our weather now. What are you noticing? The rain is no longer there. Maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, there is a slight chance for that, but not tonight. And I really think when I put early light rain, I'm really thinking that um, it's more going to be a heavy marine layer drizzle than anything else. But it's still kind of there in the forecast, not so much for here and not so much for late this evening, but uh, we'll see. Um, it would be nice because I just happened to put some uh, more grass seed and fertilizer down, and I did that expecting some rain this week, so I wouldn't have to turn on the sprinklers, but I may have to. All right, but you can see our weather going forward. We're gonna stay in the upper 60s for a few days, and then as we get to Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna raise those temperatures a, uh, a little bit. It, it now looks like it won't be too much warmer than last weekend at first, um, we were looking more um, by, by Sunday of maybe about 82, 83. Uh, that could still happen, but more than likely we're going to see weather very similar to what we had last weekend, which was um, mid to upper 70s, maybe reaching 80 degrees. So still a very nice and some offshore winds as well, just like last weekend. Here we are around Orange County and beyond today. Uh, pretty nice, uh, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. And as I said, probably not any rain coming in, maybe a tiny bit very early tomorrow morning. That should be about it. And even that is not gonna be much at all. Palm Springs 83, Big Bear 52, they're kind of holding their temperatures. Everywhere else you can see is about uh, maybe a degree or two uh, off uh, cooler 
than uh, what we had yesterday, which was absolutely beautiful. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy, mostly cloudy in the morning, partly cloudy afternoon. All right, we'll be back. I'm Sharon. I am so pleased to welcome you to JTV. We're a 24-7 home shopping network focused exclusively on jewelry and gemstones. And because we believe every woman deserves to be lifted up, we love to help her sparkle, keep her informed, and make her smile. Our viewer is passionate about jewelry and gemstones, and we share her passion. Because of that, she keeps coming back, making us one of the top retailers in the United States. We sell extraordinary products at extraordinary prices. Welcome to JTV. The eye care experts at Harvard Eye Associates have been treating the vision of patients in Southern California for over 30 years. As a leader in multi-specialty eye care, our doctors specialize in cataracts, glaucoma, retina, cornea, LASIK vision correction, oculoplastics, and diabetic eye care. As an approved FDA research center, our doctors offer surgical techniques and technology not available to the general public. Harvard Eye Associates, the future of vision today. Laguna Hills, San Clemente. Call 800-974-EYES. Hey Laguna Woods, it's Ken. And Lisa. Did you miss an episode of this day? Not to worry, head over to youtube.com and search Village Television. Here you can find each episode of this day and other community programs such as Good Day OC, Discovering Laguna Woods, and much more. Just click the red subscribe button, then click the bell to be emailed every time we upload a video. Don't miss out. And subscribe today. Through my window, I see the first sunlight. And I feel the warm ocean breeze. I see the waves that lulled me all night. That's what my window brings me. Look at this. That view is a million dollars. It's amazing. We can look at these kinds of places within our budget. You don't have a bad view from here anywhere you look. It's all about the view. Sunday night is beach night. Sunday night at 8, only on HGTV. And now's the time you've been waiting for. The undisputed champs, Tundra and Tacoma. And in this corner, the reigning rulers of the road. Oh, let's get ready for spring. Not bad. Ready for a great deal? Uh, let's do it. So good. What makes an amazing deal even better? How about that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two year or 25,000 mile no cost maintenance plan and roadside assistance. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back. I have Ephraim Barcelo here, who's with Toyota Irvine, and he's going to tell us about something very exciting for all of you Toyota owners. Well, hi, welcome hi. back. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So, very interesting. So, you guys had a Toyota owners clinic. We do. Well, okay. we used to have them before, and uh, and I was talking to Steve, and I, we thought it's high time. Okay. It's high time to to reinaugurate them. And okay. they, they were fun events before, where we invited everyone to come in, and it was just a owner clinic where we helped people, uh, our area residences, all of our new owners and our previous owners okay. uh, learn better and more about the car that they're driving now. Okay, so yeah. so when, when they show up, what are some of the things that they can expect at this type of clinic? Is it is it is it dinner? Is it all sorts of things, right? Yeah, it is dinner too, okay. yeah. Um, so it'll be right in the showroom, and if you haven't visited, I mean, it's a huge showroom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it always includes dinner and, and, and uh, dessert and, and a fun time like that. Okay. But really, we're going to uh, inform you on, we're going to have a, a technology clinic so we can show you how, on your current car, how to pair that phone, how to right. use the things that are on the car that you have right now, mm -hmm. just use them better. It, we, we call it that second delivery. 
because um, a lot of us have uh, equipment and technology in our cars that we're not even enjoying. Well, I we don't even know they're there. I, well, yeah. I would agree with you on that. In fact, yeah. I just found out I had my car over a year, and I didn't even know that I had a heated steering wheel. Oh, wow. I had no idea how to even do it, but I actually clipped something, and I was yeah. like, why is the steering wheel so hot? Isn't that great on a cold no, morning? No, I had no idea. So, so I mean, a lot I would of our imagine. cars have that. Yeah, yeah, you bet. And our cars today have enormous safety features. I mean, we talked last time, and right. we talked about even our car's ability to stop on its own. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, and the reason uh, Steve, who was with me last time, and how we kind of thought it's time for uh, to do the owner clinic. Let's have an evening where we invite everybody in, have dinner, have a shop tour. Folks get to go down and visit the shop. We'll have okay. uh, uh, three or four master technicians there to go ahead and just kind of go over all the technical things. A, lo okay. a lot of our a lot of our guests like visiting the shop. They want to see yeah. our unique tools. We've yeah. got a huge service center. But then also, Steve and I were thinking, there's a lot of um, uh, outstanding safety recalls out there too in our local area. And okay. so this is, so the owner clinic was just a thought, well, we have to address that. So this is why today, you know, thank you for putting up my personal number right into my office mm -hmm. and my um, uh, email address, I hope. Right. Because I want you to contact me. I want to take care of our customers. I want them to know that if you have and are thinking, hey, do I, I have a car that's three or four years old? I want to find out if I have an outstanding or lingering safety recall. Mm -hmm. Give me a call. Let me look up right. that VIN for you. And if you have one, uh, we'll come pick up the car. Because some of these wow. recalls are, are of a safety concern. Right. And our really, I mean, our, our whole thing here is just let, let's service you well. Let's right. take good care of you. And I want to be the point. And, and, and the neat thing is, that, well, it's my store, and I'm in charge of the place. So, and really, what that means is, is that I'm, I'm here to just take good care of you. That's all that means. Well, yeah. and that is really nice to hear. Um, yeah. from, let's talk about service a little bit because I know Steve was here, and he kind of gave us an overview. You know, what are some things that I think people really need to pay attention to when it comes to service? Like, is it maintenance or is it the, the red lights that come on? What are some of the most yeah. important things? You know, I got to tell you, it's some of the easiest things to just forget about. It's um, the, the tires that haven't been checked for inflation. Mm. That's why when we were here last time, Steve talked about that pit stop. Yeah. And what that means is just pull in. Pull in and let's just, you know, just do the old-fashioned car stop that used mm -hmm. to happen at a filling station, right? right? And let's check everything for you. That costs nothing. Okay. Come in. Let's uh -huh. make sure the car is safe. Because every time we just put gas, a lot of times we're not checking all the important components. And when you're driving, you know, up and down the street and maybe even faster than you'd like and the tire isn't quite what you think, but, mm -hmm. you know, you don't even know. You're driving days on end with something that really could be of a safety concern. Well, right. Come in. You know, right. this is what we're here to do. And I know when you have the service lights that come on, yeah. I mean, I kind of ignore it and put it off. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's so easy. It's easy, it's easy to do. It's like, oh, I'll get to it next week. And sometimes it, it comes week. on and then it comes back off. You think, oh, that couldn't have been a big deal. <laughs> it well, was a faulty light. <laughs> come in. So, yeah. the, so a multi-point inspection, if we even get that far mm -hmm. uh, or worse, we have just a, um, a, a warning light that comes on. Right. Oftentimes, it's, it's not much more than a gas filling cap that you left mm. just not, not fully clicked in. Okay. And, but it can throw a check engine light. And, and well, I, I, that's what I mean, just pull in. Because sometimes right. we can just remedy that just while you're in the car and waiting. Right. And, and why I want uh, our area residents to come by too is, and, and to see me because, um, well, because, I mean, we have a beautiful facility. Mm -hmm. Share a cup of coffee with mm -hmm. me. Let's see if you, if you have an appetite for a donut, if that's you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to stay. I don't, <laughs> the donuts? I don't oh, get man. anywhere near them, man. Well, you know, you've been inviting people um, out there now for, what, last week and this week. Yeah. I'm sure by next week, you're going to have a group of people you're going to have to be having yeah. coffee and donuts yeah. with. <laughs> you have to come by. I will come by. Seriously. Well, huh? we're going to be coming out there at some point. And, yeah, um, and, and let's say it's not a Toyota. I don't, oh. it doesn't matter. Oh good, I'll Come be over so in. you can check exactly. my tires. <laughs> no, because technology and how to use it is right. something that we have in our product specialist. They have an expert ability to go ahead and just show you how to use any car you're driving. Oh, it no doesn't kidding. have to be a Toyota. Okay. I'd love it if it was, but that's okay if it's okay. not. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. That's good because Come on you in. know many people in our community um, are maybe widowed and they don't have anybody to ask. In fact, yeah. that happens all the time and they don't know who to call. So the other, so day before yesterday, it was Monday and, mm -hmm. and, and I came across that. 
And, and truthfully, I, I noticed her right away, and I just made sure that she was. Did, did she deserve extra attention and special treatment? You bet. And nice. that's what we're here to do. Excellent. Okay, so now, does anybody have to register for this event that you're having? It's in May, right? It is. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to uh, put this together for May. Okay. Uh, if you want to shoot me an email or even call me, I'll, 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 we're going to gather that list. Okay. It, it's not necessary. I'd love it if you let us know in advance. You know, we've had um, hundreds uh, of attendees mm -hmm. at each of these wow. events. It wasn't just, okay. you know, you're not going to be there and a, you're going to be in a giant showroom with just 10 people. Now no, it's, it's hundreds. Great. Well, first, it's a fun time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I'll bring in some some fun, unique, different cars in the showroom, and we have a showroom that has a 40 car showroom. It's huge. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I'll always make sure that we serve some food that's good, that's really good. Why Excellent. not? Yeah. Excellent. So Excellent. So let's enjoy the evening together. So when, so next time you come on, yeah. uh, you maybe will have that date for us. We're thinking in the second week in May. Okay. I just don't want to nail down the day. I kind of, right. I want to uh, talk to our, our master diagnostic techs. I'm mm -hmm. gathering some local car owners so that we can have some fun cars in the showroom to look excellent, at. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, it'll be a fun Maybe time. Maybe some old Toyotas. Yeah. Really old Last Toyotas. Last time I, right? I grabbed a vintage one. It'll Did be fun. you? Oh, yeah. nice. That'll yeah. be great. It'll well, be perfect. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you so much again for coming on, thank and you. we will see you next week. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. And remember, stay tuned because uh, in the next week or so, you will find out when that date is for the Toyota Owner Clinic. We'll be right back. and learning in Laguna Woods Village is a unique experience. For over 40 years, the Emeritus Institute has provided tuition-free college classes within your community. Join us to experience expert faculty, quality academics, and to make new friends through the Emeritus Institute. New classes start every semester, and you can join nearly any time. Visit our office at Clubhouse 4 or anytime at saddleback.edu slash emeritus. Learn, live, and thrive with the Emeritus Institute. As a professional licensed realtor, you have worked countless hours to ensure your reputation is the best. Your clients know they can trust your judgment, that you'll be around when they need you, and that you will deliver what you promise. In escrow, one company has set that same standard for excellence. Escrow Options Group offers more than just outstanding escrow services, white glove concierge services, wire and fraud protection, custom estimates, and more at no extra charge. Choose the company that mirrors your professionalism. Escrow Options Group. Experience a better option of escrow. Grow services. Here is one value I know about life. At some point in the second half, most of us no longer want a speedboat or a convertible or a red motor scooter. What we really want is to be in the intellectual company of others, to be able to hear and converse and experience the true joys of life. For some, this is meaningful time with grandchildren, worship services, a favorite restaurant. What you need is not hearing aids, you need hearing care. You need a kind specialist who knows you by name, cares about you as an individual, who is skilled in correct assessment and treatment, who will select a technology, tailor it for your hearing correction, then verify the degree of improvement. Well, this is who we are. If this is the type of care you are looking for, right now we are offering a risk-free 10-day test drive of our tailor-made hearing solutions. Call now for an appointment. now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on countertops and 50% off kitchen cabinets. Plus get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on countertops and 50% off kitchen cabinets. Plus get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. With me right now from the Thrive Project is Maggie Blackwell. Maggie, great to have you here today. Nice Welcome. to see you. And uh, recently there was the Health and Wellness Expo and Thrive had a booth there, right? And that's, that's right. Uh, one of the things you wanted to talk about today. But first you wanted to talk about telling the folks the aim of Thrive. What is it? Right. Well, Thrive was a concept Beth Parrott came up with a couple of years ago and she said, 
All right, we're advertising for outside. You know, the village does advertising mm -hmm. to draw new people in. She said, what are we doing to promote the activities to the people that are here? And so the idea was to promote activities so that people were alert and alive when they're here and that they don't get lost in all that's, that's happening and that they find <coughs> activities and things to do here that will encourage them to adapt and then adjust to all the changes that age has. So like you used to be able to be a 5K runner and run all the time every week. And now you can't do that anymore right. because whatever. So you have to adjust. And if you know what clubs are available and how friendly they are, then you can do that. And if you can find out all the recreational things, rather than just uh, read about it online or in the paper, uh, the Thrive Project is intending to kind of advertise for those and be a welcoming front for those activities, mm -hmm. encourage people to go. And we were talking about um, Thrive I like greeters in clubs so that when a club has a meeting, we suggest that they have, they have a greeter for new persons. Most right. clubs <clears throat> do that kind yeah. of thing anyway. But people need to know that clubs are welcoming like that. Right. And so uh, when Cindy or, or Scott Marvel or somebody interviews a club on the air, they always talk about, you know, I'm, it's, or a painting activity. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. the arts and crafts and things. I'm thinking they're not really clubs, but they're an, an activity. Right, and right. So when you go, when Cindy or, or Scott does an interview with those people, they always explain how welcome new people are. And so that's part of the Thrive Project is to make people welcome in these clubs so that when they walk in the door, they don't just sit in the corner and watch or try to, it's kind of hard to break in on mm -hmm. someone who's doing something. And so if you have like a host or hostess at the club, then that would be good. And so they introduce usually on the show that is being aired, they will introduce the people in the club. Right. They say, come see me, I'm right here on these days and these days. And then people know that if they go, they can actually walk in the door and spot someone or someone will, will bring them in. And so that's, that's the original idea and that is kind of what we're, we're promoting. But uh, we do a lot of, uh, some of the Thrive shows are just about admiring others, what wonderful things people have done in their lives. Some of the interviews are just all about the past and we did a lot of those interviews and we still do quite a few of those. But that doesn't promote the activities in the village. Right. So <clears throat> we do a lot of the club activities and the, the arts and crafts and, and so on. So that, that will bring people in, in the village, in to do things. And when things happen then they can no longer do whatever they could do before, they can change to something else. And that's the idea. Keep changing, keep alive, keep doing things. You sure always have to make adjustments somehow. And we just want to encourage okay. people to keep adjusting. It's adapt and renew. Right. You know, adapt and renew. And the better you can do that, the better off you are. And that's the whole Thrive Project. Okay. Now, what about uh, when you were at the Expo? Right. We decided to have a table <clears throat> at the Expo. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of fun. I've done it at fairs for various charities. Mm -hmm. But so we had the Centenarian Project mm -hmm. was there. We had a flyer and a folder about that. And Lucy, uh, Lucy Parker had uh, a video running all the time on a monitor there about the Berkeley experiment, which found that the more active you are and the more uh, physically active and mentally active you are, the better off you will be throughout your life and you'll keep your cognition facilities, faculties as well. And so that was, that was the idea of the booth. And then we decided, we had decided two months before at the Thrive meeting that what we wanted to do was two minute interviews of people 
like like the old Jay Leno photo booth or something, which right. I loved, but some people don't know. Uh, it's just a quick interview, and so we kind of did that at the at the booth. People would walk by, and Recreation did a brilliant job this time. They they gave everybody who entered a little card, and it had all the uh, demonstrations on it, all the um, all the different vendors. All that were the there different all? vendors yeah. on it, and and if if you got all of them assigned, then you you put your card with your name and address on it in a in a box, and they made drawings and gave out prizes okay. for that. So people were going table to table yeah. to table, and they were just hoping you would sign it and go away. We we were too late in entry to get on the card. But so we said, sure, we'll sign it. And we signed it up in the corner with Thrive on it. And so they got credit for mm -hmm. that. But so then they would come by and say, what is this? Because Lucy's video was going. And then the Centenarian Project was there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where we are studying people who have, are over 100. And right. we have 80 people here who are over 100. And so that project is going on. And so people would come and say, oh, and they'd look at the picture, the before picture of somebody maybe 25 years old, mm -hmm. and now they're 100. Right. And they'd compare the pictures and so on. And we'd, we'd stop them and say, you look like you're thriving in the village. Would you like to talk to a two minute video? And we'll, so we left, they left their name and number on a little card and volunteered to be interviewed for the Thrive, the okay. newest Thrive project, which is a two minute interview. And so then we can make like a collage, mm -hmm. a visual collage on TV for an hour or whatever, whatever they want to do with it, of all these two minute interviews. And we had swimming people and we had singing people and we had dancing people and we had reading people and we had people who were on centenarian projects right. and, okay. and everything and all the emeritus people and they all wanted to, they were willing to come right, for right. two minutes and talk because anyone can talk for two minutes. Yeah, and okay, so if somebody wants to do that and wasn't at the health fair, can they still uh, do that? Oh yes, okay. yes, yes, just drop, drop a note at the front desk here okay. in the community center or call call me up on the director list. Okay. Or leave a message for Maggie Blackwell or Beth Perrick or Joan Milliman or anyone you know that's a director on the board, and they will get it to us. And then we will we'll figure out how we're going to tape it. We've discussed several ways of taping okay. it. And so it's just a promotional activity because everybody that came by right. was had an interest in something. And so you just say, would you like to talk for two minutes about you, what you do here to thrive? Okay. And they right. said yes. You know, I mean, it was wonderful. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. And well, I know that other projects going on too. So uh, right. uh, Mark and Lucy are taking care of that. Oh, yeah. They're doing yeah. some wonderful stuff. All right, Maggie. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Thank uh, you. we'll see you soon. Okay. We'll be right back. I'm Brian Rott, President and CEO of Cartmart here in Laguna Woods. My family's been in the golf cart business since 1959, and we win our customers over with the simple belief of, we treat you right. We are proud to be the authorized dealer for Club Cart here in Orange County, and your go-to source for the sales and service to other major brands. We're conveniently located on El Toro Road, just minutes from Laguna Woods. So come by and see for yourself, while when doing business with Cartmart, there's no reason to go anywhere else. over 400,000 seniors in Orange County today. So where does a senior or family caregiver go for information and resources? 
you can turn to the Answers Guide published by the Council on Aging Southern California. Answers is full of articles and resources to help you navigate the aging experience. You can pick up your free copy today at the clubhouse nearest you or at the social services office. The Council on Aging, helping seniors remain healthy, connected, and protected. Having great home care is as easy as one, two, three. I'm Lori Renaud with ActiCare Responsive In-Home Care. We can provide the perfect caregiver for you to receive exceptional care in the comfort of your home. Step one, call to schedule a care consultation. Step two, meet with a registered nurse in your home. Step three, start receiving care. Aging doesn't have to be difficult. Call today to get the help you deserve. This is how we burger brew and cue. Pick a town, arrive hungry, real hungry. Start with a massive burger. Char, juicy, add bacon, a buttery bun, pile high. Serve it up, wash it down. Creamy, poppy, fruity, malty. <sighs> We're not done yet. Q time, deep fried, sauce soap, pork ribs, meaty, tender. I'm full, where to next? All new, Burgers Brew and Q, Tuesday at nine. Cooking channel, stay fired up. Yeah, if we die. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, today we have Cheryl Whelan and Shirley Witt from the Florence Sylvester Senior Center right down the road. And uh, we have their April booklet out, which has a plethora, a plethora. a plethora of activities and events and all kinds of good stuff. So welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So who's going to start first today? Well, you're pointing at me, so I'll go first. OK. All right. All right. So uh, for some health, health classes at our senior center, we have Living Healthy with uh, Diabetes. OK. And uh, the Office on Aging is doing this. And it started um, March 21st, but we have continuing classes. So you can, it's a six-week program. OK, and so if people want to keep going, they can. Yeah, okay. and it's from 9 to 11.30. The next one's on the 28th, which is tomorrow. All right. <laughs> oh so God. there you go. Time's just marching by. <laughs> um, and we're doing, we you know, we like to help seniors with their iPhones and their Androids. Mm -hmm. And we do have some people that are volunteering their time. Oh, that's and really nice. Yeah. So you can get one on one instruction. And, yeah, um, I think that's really good. Yeah, so th this is going to be great. There's, the next one's going to be on April the 3rd, which is next week. And it's uh, at uh, 1 o'clock. What a nice, I think that's a really nice thing to do because yeah. uh, a lot of people, they'll get one of the phones and it might be for the first time yep. or maybe they've had one for a while and they want to, there's certain little things you're always learning on that. I didn't know you could know. do this and, yeah. and, and make the, uh, the fonts bigger or whatever it might We're be. We're constantly so. learning, aren't we? Yeah. We're always the first in line for those classes. <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> there you are. And Very how good. do we turn that phone good. on again? Yeah. Very good. And, you know, uh, we've had a lot of um, <clears throat> classes on cannabis. Oh, yeah? And I've, I've had um, cannabis companies speak. I've had cannabis, a doctor speaking on cannabis. And now we're having our geriatric pharmacist, Dr. Bill Liu. Okay. He's going to be taking on this challenge. He says it's a challenge. I bet it is. But, so uh, uh, he's going to tell us the good, the bad, good and the ugly. Yeah, I think this is a, a good uh, thing that you're doing here because someone can go to this and maybe get some real answers. Yeah. Right. You know, and he's very good. He, he has a lot of humor in his classes, uh, but he's very, very good at what, he's, uh, what he does. And that's on Tuesday, April 16th at 1 o'clock. So okay. make sure you sign up. All right. I'll All be there. I, and I, and I think your pharmacist is really one of you, should be one of your best friends because they I do too. I, yeah. I, 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 I mean they tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know things sometimes that the doctors don't tell you, but the, the pharmacist is really an important person in your in your life. And yeah, you know, you know you're absolutely yeah. right. Doctor yeah. Lou yeah. comes uh, four times a year to do brown bag. And you know you bring all your mm -hmm. your medications, and he's caught quite a few yeah. conflicts with um, with treatments and dosages, and you know making suggestions. He would never tell somebody to stop doing it, right. but take it back to your doctor and discuss this. You're taking two medications that counteract each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can remember several years ago when I was back up in the Bay Area, and I was working at this 
medical type company. They were just coming out with a new type of innovation of how to keep track of drugs and hospitals and things like that. That was really the gist of it. But they had a pharmacist on staff because she was the one who was categorizing everything. And sometimes I would, you know, she'd come over and we, we'd talk and, you know, you, these drugs that you all hear about, she would be like, oh man, they, these things are horrible. These things are in this and that. Right. And tell me the ins and outs of them right. long before you heard about them later yeah. on. Yeah. But it was really kind of interesting, you know, the yeah. pharmacists know. They, they, they really do. do. Well, you they know, know. Yeah. I, I've contacted him a lot of times because I go into people's homes and I see the medications and they might have like, 15 drugs yeah. there. Some of them are brand, some of them generic, and they're both the same thing, and they're both taking them. So they're that, doubling yeah, it up. Yeah, very good so, point. You yeah. know, he, he's very good about getting That'll back That'll be to really me. good, yeah. yeah. All right, anything else, or are we? We're on to her. Okay. Oh, we are, wonderful. <laughs> She's like, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm sitting here patiently waiting. Yes. Uh, no, uh, Cheryl has a wonderful, wonderful health and wellness class classes, and the one thing about the Senior Center is that we're there for the seniors. We're there for education, mm -hmm. for health and wellness, for, for any, any of their needs. We, we have resources for everything. Yeah. And that's the one thing that I want people to understand about the center. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization, a charity. Uh, our, our parent company is AgeWell Senior Services, who is the charity. But we do all sorts of things which uh, are needed by the seniors. Like we have free, free workshops with lawyers you know, 30 minute of free uh, legal advice. And you come in yeah. and you have a, have a problem, the lawyer will, and 90% of the time they'll help you right there. Yeah, and that's invaluable know. That's extremely really valuable. Is. And now we have Tim Bryant with Nest Egg, as you know, and he comes in once a month and does free financial mm -hmm. advice. And he, and he just started this a month ago and uh, he's, he has rave reviews from people who say, you know, all I needed him was to, to guide me in a certain direction and it's really worked yeah. out for me. So whatever your, your needs are, whether it's transportation or you need some advice, you know, come to the senior center yeah. and, and ask one of our staff members. And if, if they don't know, they'll resource it over to Cheryl, myself. And, and if we can't help you, we know people in the community who have. So okay. the center is not ours, but it's it's for the seniors of this community. We have some fun classes and we have some great classes. They have fun times over. I fun mean, they times. Do. We feed a lot of people in the community. So the center is an important an important part of this community. So for those of you who have never come out and said hello to us, stop by and see what we have to offer. Pick up our pick up our newsletter that we have every month. And uh, keep, in, keep in mind that we are at a charity, and we do need your help to keep those doors open. Yeah, and they're, they're a wonderful refor a resource. For instance, I, I just kind of open this up, and maybe you have questions about the upcoming Real ID Act. Absolutely. And just things like that. Maybe you're like, I need a passport. I don't know where to go. If you ask them, they'll find exactly. a way to get the answer exactly. for you. You know, one thing I... I don't know if you're doing this um, again sometime in the near future, but I know how much people like this. And you did almost like, a, I don't want to say a driving seminar, but you have a driving tip thing. You even had how to adjust your car, oh, your yeah. seat belt, and yeah. all that. And I knew it took a lot of effort. Uh, you did it with right. the different agencies. It's called Car Fit, and we are in the process yeah, of doing that people again. People love that. Oh, absolutely. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they really did. Absolutely. I mean, people don't realize when they jump in their car, that they're sitting too far back, or I know. they're sitting too close, or yeah. or how to adjust. A lot of a lot of people didn't know how to adjust their mirrors correctly. So little things like that that we brought in professionals to help out with that. So we are in the process of doing that again. Yeah, and yeah. that's you know I know how helpful that was. It people, is helpful. People really liked it. I know you liked it. You learned a lot too, Absolutely. didn't you? Well, Cheryl, yeah. was, Cheryl was kind of laying down in her car, and they said, "No, you need to sit up just a little bit more." Yeah. I was going like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know that that was a really yes, great was. service because yeah. um, a lot of times people will get a, a brand new car yes. and they'll love it and everything but to fit them to it to be yeah. both safe and comfortable be right. able to turn and all right really exactly. good all and, right you know we have our driver's resource room that has yeah. been extremely extremely popular and successful and you know we have people who have ins with the DMV so people have problems or questions we can call the DMV and get some answers for you. So 
We have a lot of resources. So they have connections. We have connections. Just think of them that way. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies, thank you very much. Hey, the, the booklet is available. If you have any questions, uh, give them a call at 380-015-5949 or go right on down and uh, they got so many things there to offer. Find out what they have and it's just a wonderful, wonderful resource and great people. Thank As you. As always, good to see you. Nice to see you. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks for coming in on the weekend. It's not much, but I brought you a donut. Oh, thanks. I already got one. Oh, it's AARP. Let me just... Wait, are you joining AARP? Actually, I just did. Really? But you're not... What, eligible? Yeah, I am. You are too, Mr. 50. Well, yeah, technically, but I didn't think we were ready for AARP. Then I guess you're not ready for all this. Okay, I hear you. But is it worth it? You tell me. I enrolled at 702, saved on concert tickets at 810, read a great article on investing at 9, found a sweet travel deal at 1015, I used the caregiver finder for my dad, and done. Discounted movie tickets. Hey, check out this great office stretch I found. I didn't know AARP offered all that. How much to join? See for yourself. That's all? For a year? Which includes? The donut. Free with my morning coffee. No way. Way. If you don't think instant benefits when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. Join today for just $12 and get discounts from eye care to travel to entertainment. So many ways to save. Instant resources, tips, and tools to help manage your money, maximize your health, and so much more. AARP is mobile. Just the right offers find you at just the right time. And we hear you so your voice will be heard. The world of AARP, yours today for just $12 for your first year, and that includes your spouse. And a subscription to AARP the magazine, plus this travel bag, absolutely free. It's not too soon. Don't miss out. Join AARP today. Call 1-800-748-6813. And join AARP for just $12 for your first year. You'll also get this travel bag free when you join. Call 1-800-748-6813 or visit tryaarp.org. Maxi Comfort from Golden is the most comfortable lift recliner in the world. Its patented technology glides smoothly into a variety of positions not found on most recliners. Everyone loves the programmable auto drive control. You can lift and recline, watch TV or sleep, and enjoy the feeling of weightlessness in zero gravity. Made by American workers and backed by the industry's best warranties. Feel relaxed in a Maxi Comfort lift recliner. Contact your local Golden retailer today. Carol Bowler is here to talk about what's happening with the Reform Temple of Laguna Woods. And you guys always have so many great things going on every yeah. single time. I mean, we yeah. just have to fit it all in in our little 10 right. minutes, right? Right, <laughs> absolutely. But I always look forward to coming oh, and talking well, about it. Welcome back, welcome great back. Things. So what are some things that you have? And I know we're going to try and talk about them as they're happening, but there's just so many. Right. Well, uh, the first thing that's coming up is our... Uh, spring um, uh, uh, adult education, which is a three-part uh, lecture series by our rabbi, Ben Kamen, okay. who is the consummate teacher and lecturer. Okay. And it's always interesting. He does one of these, tw twice a year he does them. Mm -hmm. and, but this one, I think, is particularly going to be interesting okay. because the, uh, the theme of it is Reform Judaism from its origin to its future. Okay. And it's something that I know personally, I don't know as much about it as I'd like to, and I'm really looking forward to attending and, and mm -hmm. learning more. Um, the first week is going to, which is on April 7th, it's okay. three weeks, it's April 7th, 14th, and then it skips a week, and then it goes to the 28th. Okay. Um, it uh, starts with a um, um, Continental breakfast at 9.30 in the morning. This is in Clubhouse 5, Dining Room 1. Okay. And then at 10 o'clock, the lecture starts and it's over by 11.30. All right. It's very um, interactive. Okay. Lots of time for 
lecture, questions, comments, whatever. Right. And uh, the first week, uh, the rabbi will be discussing uh, the history of Reform Judaism. It started in Germany, and eventually it spread big time to the United States. Okay. And so he's going to be talking about that. That was in about the mid uh, 20th century. Uh, mid-19th century. Right, okay. And then uh, the second week, uh, he's going to be talking about the Six-Day War in Israel, 1967, and how that influenced um, the embracing of Zionism, which is, uh, uh, you know, uh, how do I want to put this? The, uh, Zionism is uh, b the belief that Israel is a homeland for the Jewish people. Right, okay. Yeah, and uh, how the Six Way War influenced that in American Jews okay. and in Re American Reform Judaism. Okay. And then the third week deals with where we are right now mm -hmm. in, Reform, in Reform Judaism and the future. Okay. So it's going to be a very interesting, enlightening. Uh, um, in, uh, uh, event and we really encourage people to come out. It's eighteen dollars for the series for our members, right. okay, and it's twenty-one dollars uh, for non-members. And we encourage uh, people to come if you want to know more about it. Uh, you call Marlene Barkley, B-A-R-K-L-E-Y, and her phone number is three one zero eight three eight three zero one zero. Perfect, and, and we'll to say that again at the end just so we make sure, sure people know what we're talking about and where they can get the information. Okay, so that was the Reform uh, Judaism Clinics, I guess exactly. you could say. All yeah, right, good. good. What else do you have? Well, coming up on April 20th um, is our Passover Seder. Okay. Passover begins on uh, April 19th. Mm -hmm. The Seder uh, is a traditional meal, um, and the word Seder means order. Okay. And the reason what we're doing in, in, at the Seder is through, we are telling the story of the exodus from Egypt mm -hmm. uh, through um, uh, the food that we eat and the prayers and the readings that we do. Okay. Now, why do we do that? Because we're, we're directed as Jews to in every year and in every generation to retell the story so that each mm. of us feels that we personally were liberated. Right. And that's because this is a celebration of freedom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, sh we, we shouldn't be taking our freedom for granted. Exactly. We should all be proponents and, of freedom and cherish our freedom. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is such, uh, to me, such an important holiday. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, almost a universal holiday. It's a, it's a message that's relevant to everybody. Right. And so you come out to uh, this lovely event, which will be at 6 o'clock on Saturday, April 20th. 6 o'clock in the, the evening. evening. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. And in Clubhouse One, um, mm -hmm. doors will open at 5.30. It okay. will be a catered dinner. Uh, okay. catered by Yolanda with very traditional foods wow, that yes, we you eat. Do. My favorite, matzo ball soup. Yeah, Yum. matzo ball soup, gefilte fish, uh, chicken or lamb. Okay. Um, um, and there is a vegetarian option as well. Okay. And the cost for temple members is $30. Okay. Uh, guests, $35. And children under the age of 12, $15. Okay. And we encourage, you know, a lot of people who live in the village, um, whose families are coming, they bring them, and we encourage, uh, you know, if you're, if you're interested in coming, to, to bring your friends and bring your family. Mm -hmm. It's always a beautiful event, and it's a very important event right. for all of us to be reminded of. All right, excellent, excellent. And the, if you're interested in knowing more about it, uh, uh, you can call Lita Pickman, P-I-C-K-M-A-N, okay. and her phone number is 586-4795. Okay, perfect, perfect.
Okay. All right, and then last but not least. Last but not least is just a little reminder to circle your calendar <laughs> for June 2nd when we're having our second annual wow. Jewish Food Ooh, Festival. I think I need to go to this one because I want to taste it all. <laughs> this is going to be bigger and better bigger than and better. Even last all right. year. Good. Uh, where we had a thousand people coming. Oh my so, goodness. Yes. And so I guess what I could, the biggest way I could describe the best word is more. Mm -hmm. More food selections, okay. more entertainment and um, um, uh, crafters, and, but a klezmer band and uh -huh. Israeli dancing, nice. more parking. Good, good. <laughs> more Where is seating. that gonna be again? That's at Clubhouse, Clubhouse one, 1 and the patio, okay. On the, uh, in the, uh, the, the main room and the patio right, right. from five to eight. Right on June 2nd, okay. and you'll be hearing, everyone will be hearing more about this as we get closer to the yes. date, but it, don't forget to circle your right, calendar. So circle the calendars Sunday, for June, June 2nd, right? right okay, right. good. Well, thank you very much for You're being welcome. on. Always a pleasure to see you. Good to see you too, thank you. All right, we'll talk to you again. And remember, if you want more information about uh, the food festival or any of these, um, lovely events. You can always get in touch with the Reformed Temple of Laguna Woods. Right. We'll be right back. love that ring. Where'd you get it? I got it at the jewelry box. I saw it on Facebook and then I went in and bought it. They have the most unique, awesome pre-owned pieces for amazing prices. The Jewelry Box of Lake Forest, voted best jewelry store in Orange County for eight straight years, offering unmatched prices on fine jewelry and watches, refurbished to new condition. Visit us in our store or shop our website for just arrived items. The Jewelry Box, it's about trust. Hi, I'm John Bowser Bauman. You probably know me best as Bowser from Shanana, but I'm also president of Social Security Works Pack. And you know, when I'm in Laguna Woods, I always watch Village Television. Grease for peace. Uh, we've got a great movie for you on Friday, March 29th at 2 and 7 p.m. And it's called Instant Family. And it's starring Mark Wahlberg, Rose Byrne, and Isabella Moner. And this is when Pete, who is played by Mark Wahlberg, and Ellie, Rose Byrne, decide to start a family. And they stumble into the world of foster care adoption. They hope to take in one small child, but when they meet three siblings, one being a rebellious 15-year-old girl, find themselves speeding from zero to three kids overnight. And it really just is a movie that shows the struggles of what it's like to be in the adoption circle and all the, you know, actually the good things about adopting a child and some of the struggles that you go through adopting kids, especially when you're adopting a teenager. Yes. I can't even imagine what that would be like going through when you no, raise one and yeah. then you've got your teenagers like, yikes. So anyway, fun movie. That'll be on Friday, March 29th at 2 and 7 p.m. All right, and then our movie coming up on a Monday, 
is Smallfoot, and this is an animated movie, a good family film. And it's about uh, a Yeti, a Yeti named uh, Migo, and he's a friendly Yeti, and his world gets turned upside down when he discovers something that he didn't know existed, a human. So this is kind of reverse of the story of the, uh, a, a human saying that a Yeti or Bigfoot exists. In this case, the Yeti s is found that humans exist, and nobody in his village believes him. <laughs> and he faces banishment from his snowy home and the rest of the villagers, and he hopes to prove them wrong. So this is just a really nice film. It looks cute. Yeah, um, very well done. And that will be on Monday in the voices of Channing Tatum, James Corden, and Zendaya are the ones that are a few of the people who provide yeah, their voices. Yeah, it's kind of neat when you see that they kind of go off their acting yeah. paths and do some voiceover things. So yeah, so I think that'll be a, a good yeah. movie. So do you have anything I else? do. A um, couple events that are coming up. Oh, hypnotherapy. And uh, yeah, tomorrow mm. is uh, the Diabetes and Hypnotherapy put out by uh, the CCA. And they're gonna have a couple guests there, Jonathan Fisher, who is a licensed hypnotherapist, and also Dr. Uh, Sadehi, who is uh, with Internal Medicine with uh, Memorial Care, and they're going to be talking about, um, well, she, sure, her main topic is the care and diagnosis of diabetes. Right. His is hypnotherapy, how it Love may it. help in that disease. All right. All right. Okay, we and I'm so weather. happy to see no rain. Yay. You know what? I'm not. I wanted a little yeah. rain because I said I, just, I, I put out rain. some seed and fertilizer on my well, grass. Well, that's why you have a hose. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But here we go, uh, going forward the next uh, few days, we're gonna be in the upper 60s. And then as we get to the weekend, uh, we'll have those temperatures begin to rise and get a little bit warmer. And some offshore winds are gonna be happening over the weekend too. Very similar to what we've uh, really the last couple weekends mm -hmm. that we've been going through that pattern. So mm -hmm. um, a nice weekend coming up. Love it. And around Orange County today, good decent weather. Uh, it's gonna be anywhere from partly to mostly cloudy. We've had a lot of marine layer this morning and also this evening, and maybe a little drizzle tomorrow morning. That's still in the forecast, but I, I kind of doubt it. I think it's gonna be mainly a thick marine layer that'll mm. cause that, which mm. is fine. Which and, reminds uh, me not to live in the beach. <laughs> yeah, here we are around Orange County today and beyond, looking uh, pretty darn good out there. And uh, still, it, it, despite all the clouds out there, it's still very pleasant as it far is. as temperature is going. It's great. So you have it. All right, perfect. And then on our show tomorrow, we have our chief of security coming on, Tim Moy. We have Adapt to It, Villa Valencia, and the Globe headlines. So have a great day in the village, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.